Good Theater in Portland has been presenting plays and musicals for more than two decades now. Its latest production is A Man of No Importance. It's going on now, and with us is the director of this production, Brian P. Allen. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Before we talk about the play, let's talk a little bit how, about how this is a milestone for you. It is a milestone. This is the 100th show I've directed at Good Theater. Over 22, 23 years, something 21 like that? 21 seasons. How does that feel? 100 shows under your belt? It, it feels pretty good. You know, it was a surprise. I had not calculated it. I had no idea. And then last year during our 20th season, we were coming up with statistics and I was, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, the last show is going to be my 100th. I better make it a good one. I would think, though, that the great thing about theater is every time you start a new project, you always have a sense of energy. You always have a sense of excitement. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is the second time I've done this show. We did this show in our third season. And of the 99 shows I've done at Good <laughs> Theater before this, it was the one I wanted to go back and do again. And I've told it in a different way this time. All right, let's start with just what is the premise that gets the story rolling? The story, it's about a bus conductor in Ireland in 1964 and his community theater troupe and everybody who rides the bus is also in his community theater and they're putting on Salome by Oscar Wilde. Salome, as they say in the play. And um, things happen from there. Picture the bus as it moves down the street past the window of fish and the fist on the it's a sweet story. It's got a great score and a lot of wonderful characters. And we have a cast of 18 actors and musicians, 19 if you count my Alfred Hitchcock moment where I come in and deliver one line. Don't blink because you uh, might miss it. You easily could. So you needed actors who were also musicians? Yes. This time around, I decided I wanted to do that and blur the lines. And so uh, the three major musicians in the show all have lines in the, in the play. They have characters. And then more than half of the cast uh, play either keyboards or guitars or bass guitars or mandolins. And then everybody else picks up a percussion item at some point during the show. So it's not the easiest thing in Maine to find someone who's a good actor and can also play the mandolin. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But we've put together this really wonderful group of people. And at the auditions, I just asked, what instruments do you play and how proficient are you in these things? And then there was a lot of casting. And then uh, Vicki Stubbs, our musical director, she and I spent a couple of days this summer like, OK, we need someone to play this. But they're in the scene, so we got to use this person. And it was like this giant jigsaw puzzle. And it's uh, worked really well. And I think people are having a good time. You said that this was the work that you wanted to do again after having directed it nearly 20 years ago. How has it been going? It's been going really well. And, and I just I love this concept. Uh, you know, we took the front row out so we could act there. And I've put 15 seats on the stage. So 15 audience members get to sit on stage with the actors. And all of the actors are around all the time. They'll like lurk on the sidelines and watch a scene. So it's very environmental. And now, not just environmental, but almost, but Immersive. really unconventional for, for members of the audience to be able to sit on stage right. is really different. And people are having a great time. You know, they're like, oh, this perspective is so interesting and, and all. So it's, a, it's just a unique piece. And uh, I'm very happy with this amazing cast and crew that we have. Well, congratulations on your centennial production Thank at you. Good Theater. Thank you. Again, the name of the play, A Man of No Importance. It runs at Good Theater at the Hill Center, formerly St. Lawrence Arts on Monjoy Hill in Portland. Runs through March 24th. More information about tickets, showtimes, everything else in the 207 section of our New Center Main app or website. Stick around. We will return in a moment.